what is up defects we are back for another video we're talking some cgc graded comics but a little different than what we but most people have been talking about in the community before we get into this video the butcher what up baby what is up i'm excited about this guys because we're going to point out a bunch of stuff to you that everyone should be looking out for anyway but we got some gift grades here <laughs> we, we, we we got we got some gift grades on older books i understand but if you're grading it should be towards a certain criteria and every book should get that criteria and i don't think these books got that yep absolutely so like jay alluded to we did a video about a week or two ago on the heritage auction uh the the, the january 2024 listing had ended in some monster monster books were up, hit broke records. Some just came in just below the records, but you're talking million dollar plus books. Um, we're gonna go through a few of them that looked a little funny when we got a little closer look at some of these slabs. Um, like Jay said, we know that they are a little bit more lenient uh, for older books when it comes to grading, but the question is, should they be? or And how lenient should they be? So we'll get into it. We'll, we'll have that discussion a little bit further along, further on in the video, um, but I think we should just start looking at some books. We're going to take, basically take the Heritage Auction book that we saw and compare that to like a 1980s book in the same grade just to kind of get an idea about similar defects. All right, so the first one we're going to start off with was probably the least egregious in my eyes um, is the All-Star Comics number eight, first Wonder Woman, 9-4. Um, you could see that $1.5 million sale. Like I said, guys, we, we reviewed all of this uh, in our video last video so there'll be a link at the end if you want to go watch that but let's take a quick closer look at this jay so i'm gonna zoom in you kind of tell me where to point around and you start pointing out some stuff all right how about we will start each book will start at the top left corner we'll work our way over to the right and then just work our way down in the same order right right off the bat guys just look just look <laughs> all this stuff yeah i mean rounded corners right you got a t you, you got a tick all the way on the left hand side. You got a tick yep. above number eight. Yep. So, um, yep. You you got color rub as you go all the way across the top. You got you got a pen mark on the R and star. You got more color rub. You got what looks like a tape pull or some type of shadow. shadow. Yeah. Yep. What, what what more missing cover? Um. I mean, wow, a nine four man. I would I look mean, at this. The red on the All-Star has a lot of scratches. I mean, listen, it's a 9-4, so you're allowed some imperfections, but this seems a little a little much. I mean, let's check these bottom corners real quick. Yeah, I mean, just rounding, just beat up a little bit. I mean, yeah, there's, yeah, some, I mean, there's some marks here. This is just, this whole spine is brown. You know, the spine roll. You don't get ding for the spine roll, but the color of the spine roll so I don't know. Should we look at some graders notes real quick on this? I mean, right uh, just here. look at all the ticks on this spine as well, guys. Holy smokes! Yeah, let's so, pull up the graders notes. I mean, so a nine four. I've seen enough nine fours. Yeah, I don't know. This doesn't look like a nine four to me, <laughs> bro. This is almost on the verge of a seven five to me. I mean, even an eight is kind of a gift grade on this cover. So right top front cover, small writing. We saw that. That doesn't look yep. like small, but. Light shadow front cover, which we saw, and light tanning interior cover. I think it missed a lot in these grade, like in these notes, uh, a lot of ticks that that kind of are not being noted here. But even just this seems like, I don't know, doesn't seem like 9-4 worthy, but we can compare it to something. Looking to clean and press your books before submission? Well, look no further than the best in the business. Erod 212 with Express Comic Book Pressing Service. Defects 10 gets you 10% off. Erod will submit your books to CGC and CBCS and pass along his discount. Hit him up on Instagram or email expresscbp at yahoo.com. Yeah, so great, 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 great choice, Matt, because it's a book where you can see all defects on it due to the coloring of that book, that orange background. Right. So, so a 9 4. Yep. Can't, can't zoom in as far, but I think you're going to be able to tell pretty quickly. Um, I'll keep, I'll, I'll go. You want to kind of point out Yeah, when I see. see something, I'll, I'll call it out. If I see something and the top looks a little wavy, nothing crazy. Yep. 
looks pretty clean i mean obviously we're able to zoom in a little bit more with heritage go collect does have some nice images but it's only what they give you on ebay um i'm curious to see to get to that spine a little rounding there I'm not a little crazy. round a, a, all a the corners yeah we're a there's little a, rounded something here there's right? a tick yep there's a yeah. little tick there i mean poof very clean i mean it's not something we could really see jump out but let's look at the notes real quick yeah spine stressed lines to cover right which is you could kind of see but it's not a ton but still look at the notes compared to the two nine four grades right um but even just look at the book itself i don't know jay i mean a little bit of leeway for the golden age book plus a gift a little bit like and that's i mean because yeah you're not talking a like a nine two or not like a nine two versus a nine four you're talking like possibly an eight oh eight five compared to a nine four right exactly i mean listen it goes one it goes one of two ways on this right the secret wars eight got a bad grade or right the the all-star got a gift grade and i know you have to be a little lenient it's a book from 1940 I totally get that, but it's on the same grade. There's no different grading scale for these. So, I mean, I would be extremely happy if I got that all-star comics back in, in a nine, four compared to what we just looked at. I'd be ecstatic over it. Well, guys, put it in the comments below. Do you think that the scale should be 100% equal, whether the book is from 1940 or from 2021? right? Should that scale be equal no matter what, or should be there, should there be some small leniencies for some of these older books? I understand like stamps and things of that nature, or even writing when they sometimes would mark like uh, pre-code horror books with the number of the issue. Some of those gold key didn't have the issue number on the front cover and they would write it in small. That stuff that was just done a lot. So I think those are the types of things that I would give leeway on where you wouldn't see that on a 2000s book but rounded corner is a rounded corner a spine tick is a spine tick a, a dust shadow is a dust shadow i i just i don't know i mean that to me you got it the scale has to be the scale right you know? the scale I, I agree the scale has to be the scale guys you're talking a big money book and, and the scale has to be the scale and here we go Incredible oh. hulk number one yep 1962 eight eight 825,000 it's all for go check out the video we break all that down this one to me was pretty bad um definitely worse than the j uh than the the all-star all comics but i'm gonna zoom in a lot this is a dark cover oh. notoriously hard to get in high grade yep. but right off the bat this oh, is a cgc 92 guys so right here fading color right? rub yep fading yep bad rounding and rub Big whatever, ticks across the top. Whatever that is. What is this? Yes. Yep. That's yep. that's big for a nine too. I mean, uh, some stress here, right? Yeah, stress here. The number one is faded. You had a couple of minor dings along the cover. Oh, on this side, here you go. Yep, there's a, a tick there. Yeah, you're right. There's a tick up here too. Some I more mean, ticks. Yeah, I mean, oof, man. Some of this I understand a lot. Like, this is chewed a little bit. To me, that's chewed. That's not, you know, that's that's more than what you would expect. Yeah, go up that, go up that spine. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. That might be part of the book. I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, definitely some... Yeah, that's part of the book, I believe, also, actually. But some a lot of ticks. One, two, big tick there, three. I have four. This is chewed up a little bit. Five. That's printer stuff. Six. The ticks I could live with. It's this top, this top edge, Jay, is what does it for me. Yeah, just right there in the middle between the C and the R. That's huge. I mean, I've gotten some books back with something similar to this in a seven five. A book books that I thought were nine twos had something like this on the back cover, not even on the front cover, and got a 7.5 just because of that one defect. 
Back so looks... Just looking at the back from far away, the back doesn't look as bad as the front, but it's that dark cover, you know? Yeah, the back looks pretty it's nice. Good. And you're not going to see all the ticks on that light cover, but back looks pretty good. This is yeah, nothing. Yeah, the back does I mean. look good, yep. So, yeah, it's really the front, but let's take this, this you're going to see. The grades. Okay. Small stain left top of back cover. So we didn't even see that there was a stain. Let me see. Yeah, it's hard. To, it's hard to see here. But somewhere there's a stain up here. So we didn't even see that. S light gloss smear left bottom of back cover. We're never going to be able to see that. Right. Color lift top of front cover. I mean, I think that's putting it mildly. Color lift. That, that looked like more than color lift. And then small wear on all front corners oh i mean <sighs> again it there's a nine two so a little bit more leeway with a nine two than the nine four we saw before but still should we look at another nine two let's go of course we should we everyone needs to compare my favorite one of my favorite books of all time now you can see right off the bat this looks more like a classic nine two some some yep. some Rally. edge wear rounded corner yep. edge wear edge wear edge wear this makes sense like that little white on the corner there uh maybe something here we're gonna go a little faster on these guys because it's a little easier to pinpoint yeah definitely you see a little wear. yep some wear you know wear a here a little ding there but again it's the accumulation yeah right here again these are classic things that you'd see with a nine two maybe some pressable ticks right here absolutely uh, maybe a, a spine breaking. Yeah, something right there. A little bit more in line with a nine two. Uh, maybe a tick right there. That looks like every nine two I've seen. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Um, quick on um, quick view at the notes. I mean, just night and day, even on the notes. Light creasing the cover. Light spine stress to cover. That I mean. That's what you want to see on the graders' notes on a nine, too, right? Not, not, not four lines of sentences telling you what's wrong with the book. <laughs> Color lift and this and that. You remember that book, Jay, that I got? I, I sent it in twice. It was the ASM one twenty two, that yellow cover, and it had that yep. tiny, tiny little tape pull, little color lift on the back cover that you could barely see. Seven five. That was the only thing wrong with it. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, I mean, yeah. I, CGC, man, what's going on with you guys? I, I mean, this is the discussion that we got to quickly have at the end, but I want to go through this one quick. Uh, this is the big one, obviously. A lot of people have saying this is kind of where it started. We did a video individually on this ASM 1 9.8 pedigree edition. A lot of people saying this was not a 9.8. I mean, if you just look at this book quickly, it doesn't take long to say, I wish that they graded 9.8s like this, right? Like... <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, they probably will now that there's nine nines pre screen. Yeah, but that's well, that's another other... discussion. Rounding, right? Definitely some rounding, which is a no no for for right off the bat on a nine eight. Uh, not bad here, right? Not Nothing bad. crazy. Yeah. I mean, again, I'm not as like some of this, I'm not as worried about because that could be printing stuff. I'm not as worried about that. Like, that's the type of lean. Like some of this, like, yeah, but I'm, even that could be something printing. You, 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 that's you what I mean. That a little, yeah, you this know? right here. Like, I'm okay with some of this stuff on older books because you got that. There's but another I mean, one this, there between Mister Fantastic's legs. Yeah, but some like this corner just, it's more nine six to me. You know, I mean, going along the bottom. This is the one right here. Yeah, like, that's big. That can't be on a nine eight. Nah. Like, I know they said you're allowed one tick on a nine eight which I've never got a 9.8 with a tick, but this yep. is a big tick. Like, that goes into the cover. That's not just on the spine. Like, that goes into the cover. It's a good quarter inch, if I had to guess. Uh, that right there should negate the 9.8. I mean, the rest of this is, is fairly good clean, looking. man. Yeah, yeah. very it's clean. Fine. I mean, listen, out of all the books we've seen, this is probably the closest to right. probably what it should be. Can we take a look at the back of that book? Yeah. 
But I just want to. Look. I've never seen a nine eight with graders notes, though. Have you? Yeah. Uh, I mean, on a book like this, dude, when you're talking <laughs> millions of dollars, you have to give a, a. I mean, CGC has to put something in there. I'm curious to know if there was grader notes before this went to Heritage. That's or if true. They put Good in, point. Put Sports. them in after. Small stress lines, very light bottom of spine, wear bottom of spine, very light wear top of spine. We saw these two things. I mean, there's a color breaking spine tick. Like that's literally what that what they're calling a small stress line. No, it's a color breaking tick. Like it's a color breaking stress line, not a small stress line, right? I mean, again, I can't get as close and maybe the picture's a little blurry. Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, a pretty clean corner there, maybe a tiny, tiny round to it. Hard to mm -hmm. see, but you see that that edge is clean. It's very clean. This is in the case. That's not on the book. A very clean corner here. A, a very clean corner here. You know, again, a couple little printing issues, which I'm okay with. You know, a tiny, tiny round here. Not much to talk about, but it's this really the spine that tells the tale in my eyes. Little non-breaking color tick right there. I mean, uh, spine tick right there. It's hard to tell if it is. That's what you're talking about right here? Yep. Yeah, hard to tell, but let's put it this way. It didn't look like the one we saw over there. Yeah, I mean. That's clean, man. That's clean that and no cool. graders notes, right? So, I don't know. Jay, what do you think? I mean, listen. If you're grading a book on a certain scale, every book has to be graded on that scale, right? Whether it be a modern book or an older book. Um, yes, there's some leniency from a book that's from 1963 or 1940, like the All-Star Comics, but explain why, right? Explain why. Grade everybody shit on the same level, right? We won't... There, I mean, there's books I've bought... And granted, they're modern. And how are you going to compare a modern book to a book from 1940? But right, right. What's what's the scale? You you get a nine four with seven lines of graders notes on it. Obviously, those are all defects going on with the book. I mean, like I said, man, the ASM one was probably the closest to what it should be, as opposed to all the other books. Right, but also it had the grade that has the highest standard, right? That we kind of all shoot for and in, in when you're grading i mean you want you know listen and not everybody's a grader and not everybody cares about the grade but a good amount of people do so i mean this is something that we have to look at i mean a lot of things have been happening with cgc lately and we have to start really like would you would you buy that book knowing that maybe it's not a nine eight you're talking about once once in a generation type books you know these aren't books where there's five nine eights asm one there's two right that all star comics eight, like I think there's one nine four. So should it be a nine four though? You know, what does that nine two look like? Does it look better than the nine four? You know, so I mean, I'd love to have this conversation a little bit more in depth because I'd love to get the audience on a live show, Jay. So maybe we'll talk more about yeah, it on a live show. To, yep. So guys, but put your in, in the meantime, if you're not going to be in the live show or just to sound off now, put your thoughts in the comments below. Should the scale change based on the age of the book? Should the scale all be the same? Are we being too critical of these grades? That are yeah. those? Do you think that those grades are correct on those older books? Let us know all your thoughts down below in the comments. All right, Defects, we're going to wrap it up here. A lot to think about. I think you kind of know where we stand on this. But like I said, we're going to continue this conversation on the live show Wednesday, every other Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Check us out. We're going live, not this Wednesday, but the following Wednesday. Um, also, guys, this week, the inaugural, the kickoff, eBay Live Auction, Tuesday night, which is if you're watching this video on a Tuesday, that's tonight, 9.15 Eastern. The link is going to be down in the description. Come hang out with us. It's our first show. Who knows what's going to happen? But this is the one, the first of many, right, Jay? Oh, absolutely, guys. Yep. We, we made the switch over. Bunch of new guys on eBay, right? So you know there's going to be... You know, there's going to be flip flops. We'll see how it goes. We wanted to get in on the ground level, which we did. And super excited, man. Can't wait. Come get yeah. some books, guys. That's it. Newbies on eBay, apparently. But like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit the notification bell so you know when we're putting out new content, new videos every Tuesday, 5 p.m. Eastern. And until the next video, Defects, later. <laughs>